Uh, slide chair. Slide chair. I'll stick them up there on slide chair. Um, okay. Any questions? Anybody have any experience with this? Um, to do an A/B test, is there a minimum number of traffic that you need to make it legitimate? Yes. The more traffic you have, the better it's going to be. Okay. Um, so is there a minimum you think, in your opinion, or? Did you say seven or eight? <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's it's a little bit. There's different ways you can go with that question. It's a phenomenal question. Um, things that I've seen say thirty thousand or less don't really give you good information. But I don't I don't agree with that personally. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, if you've got a blog and you've got people coming and you look at your analytics, you can see where even just a few people are going. Yeah, and so, I mean, I feel like you can do this from the beginning. Okay, okay cool. Please. So I feel like this may be backstepping a bit too much in the process, but I don't really think I quite understand the testing. By setting up the experiment in Google, is it deciding then to split your traffic for you? Yes. Okay. No, it automatically like does that for you. I, I'm like, I don't look at how do you drive half of your audience one page and the other. And so you're creating two pages within your site, and Google's deciding which to send you from search engine results? Or what about if you have a direct link to the site? Can you, does it still work? Yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. So, so you've got your original page. So you just make you make just a duplicate of that page in you know, WordPress, and then make your one or two changes on that. Okay. So that's okay. Good. Yeah. So you have your constant, and then the variable is, and that's why we talk about you know the duplicate content and making sure that it stay up there for very long, um, and. Uh, there's a lot of those plugins that'll help you um, do that for you. So basically, it'll copy the page, and like he was saying, uh, helps you figure out SEO and which page should be shown uh, to Google and whatnot. So when you say Google doesn't like Google for content, is that based on time, based on business, or is that just Google doesn't like Google for content? That is a great question. Absolutely great question. Um, can anybody answer that one? I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's a matter of like the entire hundred percent. So it's what percentage of your content. If it's completely duplicate, Google indexes it. So what you could do is just go into your robust text and eliminate that from your index. So go into robust text and do this a lot. So Google won't index that page. If you wanted to do that, I'm just use Yoast. Yeah, I agree completely with the Yoast. Um, no indexing the pages. I think that's, from what I've done, working with the canonical URLs, um, I've done that instead of the index. So what are you doing in Yoast? You, you no index a certain page so it doesn't get indexed. You, you can go to the page in Yoast settings. There's in the advanced settings. You can go in and say, do not index this page. Any other questions? All right. Thank you guys very much.